Tropical storms seem to be becoming more frequent and more powerful. Understanding the structure of the storm is really useful, as well as recognising how climate change might affect them in the future. Tropical storms are very destructive and are given names to help identify them, starting alphabetically and alternating between male and female names. Tropical storms can stretch to over 300 miles across and have a generally symmetrical shape. They have a central eye where relatively cold air descends, creating clear, dry and calm conditions. The eye wall is a huge bank of high clouds that can stretch over 15 kilometres high, far higher than commercial planes can fly. This is where the strongest winds can be found along with thunder, lightning and huge amounts of rain. Winds have been known to reach 190 miles per hour. Storms are measured on the Saffir Simpson scale, ranging from Category 1 to a Category 5. Hurricanes Andrew and Katrina, along with Typhoon Haiyan, all reached Category 5 during their lifespan. Stretching out from their eye wall are more banks of clouds containing thunderstorms, rain and very strong tornado force winds. Just one tropical storm can release the same amount of energy as 10,000 nuclear bombs throughout the course of its lifetime. The distribution of tropical storms may very well change as surface water temperatures rise. Tropical storms may very well affect areas outside the current hazard zones and they may become more powerful with higher sea temperatures. With warmer sea temperatures, cyclone seasons may be extended, in turn leading to more frequent and higher intensity storms. We need to understand that the changing climate will affect the nature of not only the tropical storms, but the extent of tropical storm seasons and their reach in the future.